Hi guys, welcome to Books in Key. I'm Key and today's video is in defense of book hauls. I've heard a lot of talk about booktube and consumerism and so I wanted to add my two cents or my two rupees because I'm Indian. And so yeah, I'm doing it in a question and answer format so that I do not miss any of the points that I want to touch upon. Let's start with the first and the most obvious question. Are book hauls bad? And no, I don't think so. So when I make a book haul video as a booktuber, what I want to do is to share my joy and pleasure at having received these books and owning these books and having bought these books. And I know that my viewers and the fellow booktubers who watch my videos will understand. If I go up to a friend or a family member who is not bookish, who doesn't read a lot, and I say, hey, guess what? I finished the Six of Crows duology and it was amazing. They'll just be like, hey, what? What are you talking about? But if I put the same thing up on my booktube channel, people will get it. They will be excited for me. They will be happy. They might be slightly envious, but I take that. The second thing is that book hauls on booktube have introduced me to a variety of books that I would never ever have read before. Books by black authors, books by other people of color, translated books, books with LBGTQ plus rep, okay, um, graphic novels, manga. These are all things I've read this year based on other booktubers hauls and reviews. So yeah, again. Book hauls are not bad. Question two, are book hauls a way of showing privilege? Now I do understand that buying books is a privilege. It is a big deal and there are not all people who are able to do this. But look, for me personally, buying books and collecting books has always, always been a way of life. Even if I wasn't on booktube, I would still be buying books and still creating my own personal collection. So for me, I'm not coming from a place of privilege. But I do understand that when people watch a book haul and they are not able to get those books, it might seem like we are coming at them from a place of privilege. And so I have some really simple tips. One, put the book on your wish list on Amazon or wherever and wait for a price drop. Get Kindle books, which are cheaper. Get an audiobook version, you know, using a paid subscription for Audible or Scribd, or just borrow the book from a friend. I really hope these tips work for some of you who feel like, oh my God, she gets to haul books and I don't. Question three, do book hauls promote consumerism? Uh, yeah, I guess. I mean, buying massive amounts of books and unboxing them and showing them off Yes, it does promote consumerism. So I am going to give that one. But I do believe that Booktube is also now showing people different ways to buy books. A lot of people are now supporting local bookstores, be it online or be it in person. And so a lot of conscious book shopping is being done. And because sometimes the books are a little bit more expensive, the hauls are getting a little bit smaller, at least in my case. So I think conscious purchasing is also something that booktube is promoting. So yes, consumerism, but also conscious consumption of books. Now let's get personal. Let's get down and dirty. Key, why do you haul books? Let me tell you. So I have loved books ever since I was a child. I used to haul books at things like the Delhi Book Fair and the World Book Fair. My parents would buy me books for everything, for my birthdays, for doing well at school. So books really were not a scarce commodity in our house. And we had, and my parents still have, a very well-stocked library. I really wanted to recreate that literary atmosphere in my house. We have a bookshelf in every single room in this house, right from the living room, to all the bedrooms. So this impacts my children positively as well. They will pick different books to read aloud. Sometimes they learn something from this book. So they'll want to explore it deeper. We go down rabbit holes. So I think as a homeschooling mom also, it impacts my children a lot. It has also improved my own reading because I'm finding myself now to be more of a mood reader and I do read several books at the same time. So I have the leisure and the ability 
to pick books out from my unread bookshelf and read them as and when I want to. There was this one point where I was trying to be a minimalist, okay? And I kind of heard that it is about the experience of enjoying a book and not about owning the book. And so I got caught up in that fervor and I gave a lot of my books away, especially ones that I had read and reread over and over again. I was like, look, I've derived joy from them and now it's okay to give them away and let other people enjoy them. It was the worst fucking thing ever. I almost immediately went back and repurchased all those old favorites because while somebody else might like minimalism, book minimalism, it is definitely not for me and it is definitely not something that I will promote. So yeah, I'm both a book reader and a book collector and I love having a library of both read and unread books. I love the love of reading that it has created in my home. I love the love of reading it has created in my children. And I honestly enjoy doing book haul videos. I think they are a great way of sharing the excitement of having bought new books and of discovering new genres and books. What do you think? Are book hauls good or bad? Should book haul videos be banned? Do you hate book hauls or do you love them? Let me know in the comments below, you guys. I would really, really appreciate to hear what you have to say on this subject. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I will see you in my next video. Bye.